Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to upload images to a media folder on Schoology. I'm going to demonstrate this by going through the process for the digital portfolios. So first thing I'm going to do is log into Schoology. Once I'm logged in at the top, I'm going to go to courses. Here you would select the course that you have with me that you are working on your digital portfolio. I'm going to demonstrate with my AP Studio Art course, so I'm going to click on there. Once you click on the course, you're going to see the materials section. In the materials section, there is a red folder titled Student Digital Portfolios. Open that. Then there will be a media album with your name. So I'm going to click on my media album. Here, I'm going to click the Add Media button. In order to add media to Schoology, the image that you want to add needs to be saved to your computer. So if you take a photograph of artwork, you need to make sure that you import the image to your computer to be able to add it to your media folder. If I ask you to research some artists and to select an image by an artist for an assignment, and to complete that assignment, you would add the image to a media folder, so that way maybe we could discuss it in class or other students would be able to see what you selected through Schoology. You would have to find that image, probably on the internet, save it to your computer, and then upload that image onto Schoology through this same process. So it's really important that anytime you are adding any images to a media album on Schoology that the image is already saved to your computer. So in the case of your digital portfolio, the image should have been imported to your computer from your digital camera or device that you photographed the work with. Then you should have gone through the simple editing process that I demonstrated with my smartphone on your computer and you can use any, di any digital image editing software um, that is available to you. Usually your computer will come with some digital image editing software. You can also download some free digital image editing software online as well. It's just a simple, simple editing program is fine for that. Okay, so I've completed the steps that I have imported the image to my computer. I edited it using some software. It's saved on my computer. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach the file. So I'm going to click Attach Files. I'm going to navigate to the image. So I simply saved it on my desktop. You might have it somewhere else. Maybe you have it in a pictures folder or maybe you have it um, in the cloud. Wherever it is, just make sure um, that you navigate to it, and then you're just going to go ahead and either double click or click and choose. Okay, and that is the image I want. Then it will upload here. So right now it is uploading. Once it's complete, you are going to click Add Media, or if you have more images to add, then you would go ahead and add more images. Um, and then once you click on it, okay. Um, now back there, there was like an add caption button. You could have hit that. I'm going to go ahead and just hit edit caption here. And then I always want your first line to be the title. And then your second line should be the medium. I'm noticing that the medium doesn't actually go on the second line when I hit enter. So I'm just going to put a comma and hit enter. And then this is pastel on panel. Okay, then I'm going to click save. That will save the caption. See, it didn't actually go to the second line, so we'll just use a comma for that. And then I can go back and I can see my album if I'd like to. I can click on one image. Which unfortunately, the screencast-o-matic isn't going to show you the whole thing unless I shrink it. Nope, that's not going to work either. Okay, I can go ahead and hit next and see my other image as well. Okay, and that's your digital portfolio. And that's also how you will upload any images for any media album assignment on Schoology.